details for? How do I respond to this question that I am so frequently asked? You know, do I play it off as a joke with, ah, damn, I'm busted. They drugs. <laughs> do I make something up or do I just tell the truth? Within this split second, I must decide what I want my relationship with this person to be like. And I like to think I'm a pretty funny person, but even I've gotten tired of saying that stupid drug line. Not that it's even very funny to me. So, this leaves me with two options. I can tell people that it's my birth control. <laughs> I'm a guy. Or... <laughs> tell people that I have cystic fibrosis. Telling people that I'm on the pill, the pill, I can avoid any questions because if another guy told me he was on an oral contraceptive, I, 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 I wouldn't even ask any more questions. <laughs> Seeing as I'm a generous and honest person for the most part, I usually just go with the truth. I have cystic fibrosis. I've had it my entire life. No, no, it's not contagious. <laughs> this is usually the extent of the conversation, with the exception of a few, a few inquisitive people. At this point, though, I sometimes notice a change in behavior. My jokes tend to be much funnier, I become instantly more liked, and, you know, I can't say that I'm not flattered, but come on, just because you can breathe a little better than I can, that doesn't make me like a charity case. Like you guys need something else to inflate your heads a little more. To be honest with you, I'd probably still kick your ass in a race. I've been blessed. My doctors detected it the, the day that I was born, and I've gotten outstanding treatment ever since. And my lung function is usually in the healthy range for a normal 19 year old. But, you know, while I work hard every day to improve my lungs, I, I walk by smokers. <coughs> Smokers, as they trash theirs. Who do we feel bad for now? If the tables are turned. And while it all sounds glamorous, it is not all that easy living with cystic fibrosis. Two hours of treatments Two hours of treatments a day don't do themselves. And no matter how many pills I take each day, 40. The unpleasant side effects of CF don't always just go away. Granted, this isn't the easiest lifestyle, but really it's, it's the only one I know. I don't know, I don't know how it feels to breathe with healthy lungs. I don't know how it feels to not put anything under restrictions on a medical consent form. <coughs> However, a lot of people don't know how it feels to say, yeah, yeah, I have cystic fibrosis and I'm feeling great. One day, I went to student health to get my my arm checked out for a sports injury, and I mentioned that I have cystic fibrosis. He then told me that I seem really healthy for a kid with CF, and that I am probably a long way away from that double <coughs> But I'm glad, I'm glad that he can joke about this. Considering that a double lung transplant, it's pretty much a death sentence for someone who's living with cystic fibrosis. 
And our lung transplants are pretty common for CF patients. I know, I know that I am not the common cystic fibrosis patient. Because I've been testing boundaries my whole life. The day that I was born, my parents were told that I probably wouldn't even live to see college, but now, now I am 19 and God, I'm living my life beyond its hypothesized potential. So, just like the struggles that everyone else faces on a day-to-day -day basis, really, you kind of just learn to live again. Whether it is the death of a family member or even an addiction, there are issues which people face every day that you are unaware of when you meet them. And, and mine is something more identifiable than most, but that's it. It's something that can identify me, but it will not define me. So about those pills. It's weird that you said something because I don't even notice something.